Hey everybody, what's in the box? We'll get to that in a minute. What are we doing today? Today, I'd like to go over a question that I asked a couple weeks ago. So you know there's a community tab here on YouTube and not only do I post videos, but I sometimes post questions to all of you. And I asked, what's on your native script wish list? What features do you want to see built into native script? And uh, a few of you answered, we're gonna go through that now and I'll also share some of my own wish list with you. All right, so let's go through this real quick. There aren't too many responses here, but some of these are pretty important. Peshang Hiwa says, a way of selecting multiple views at once. So for example, back in the days, what am I talking about back in the days? Well, back in the days of jQuery is what I was gonna say, but now browsers allow you to use document.select element by class name, and you get a list of elements. Well, why doesn't native script allow you to do that? Well, you can, there are ways to do that. And I actually have a video up on this channel showing you how you can do that. But it is something that probably should be built into native script for easy usability. Native script does have a view, get view by ID, and you can get a child view by passing the ID of that child view to any parent and get the child view element. But what Peshang here is saying, I could never find something like this where it's view get view by class name. So like I said, there is a way to do that. And there is a plugin that does that as well, but it would be good to build into native script as well. Agreed. All right, Karthik says, best carousel like Instagram has a star rating widget. So a carousel is something that uh, is also available as a plugin. And I think what Karthik is getting at here is that it'd be nice to have some kind of recommended carousel, something that's official, maybe some kind of package with UI widgets. And we'll see a theme here of this type of UI widget requests. Now, of course, you can build all these yourself, not a problem at all. You can build a carousel, you can build a star rating widget yourself. But yeah, I can see it'd be nice to have one come out of the box or as a official UI package. B Wolf says, Hi Alex, it would be great to have these implemented in the core of native script. A carousel with swipe.js functionality would be highly appreciated. CSS with pseudo class support. Well, there are a couple of pseudo classes that are supported. For example, button highlighted or button active, those are supported. But yeah, pseudo classes are pretty limited. There is no way of doing like a before or after that would be really nice as well. Easy shadows used for whole layouts. Shadows are possible as well, and I have a whole series, a whole playlist of videos on how to create shadows in iOS and Android in your native script applications. You can find it in this channel. I'll link to it here as well. But it will be easy to just say, apply shadow to this element, give it the amount, and be done with it. And that should come as part of the framework. B Wolf also says code protection when the app is preparing for production, similar to JScrambler. So JScrambler is a technology that's a third-party technology that takes your code and during build time actually scrambles the JavaScript. And it does such a good job that it's almost impossible to deobfuscate the code. I cover JScrambler in my Securing Native Script Applications course on nativescripting.com and we go through different scenarios on how to use it. But something like that that's built in. Now there is a built-in workflow for obfuscating code as part of native script, and it's actually just a minification process that happens at build time, but it's not secure and it can be easily deobfuscated. So there are two different techniques here. One is just obfuscation and minification, and the other one is really secure obfuscation based on certain variables and conditions that you can specify based on date ranges, and that's what JScrambler does. JScrambler gives you a lot of different options to secure your code to make it almost unbreakable. And I say almost because, you know, security these days, one person's trying to hide stuff, the other person's trying to hack stuff. So they're always fighting each other. There's always a way to get into something. Thanks, Bewolf. Nonato Webby says, it would be great if we have a HMR equivalent that works with NSNG v10 projects. 
Yes, HMR is something that's currently not working very well with the latest version of Native Script 7 and Angular, but the team knows about this and this is something in progress. This is not really a wish list kind of item. I mean, yeah, it'd be great to have HMR working. I suppose it is a wish list item. We'll keep it on there. Euvoria, welcome back Euvoria, good to see you again. Euvoria is always to the point and short. Accordion, carousel, easy custom tab view, data table, action sheet, drop down, combo box. So Euvoria says Quasar Framework is a good place to get a reference. And yeah, so NativeScript does have a UI library that's official, but it doesn't have a UI library that has all these other components in it, such as carousel, and there we go, carousel again. Custom tab view, you can actually create a custom tab view using the tabs component. The tabs component, which is pretty new as of NativeScript 6, I believe, you can style it as as much as you like it has the swipe gestures and it acts the same way on ios and android and it resembles material tabs so it does have that data table that would be something like a grid a very flexible grid so that is something that would be really nice to have and i don't see that native script itself being the core framework would have something like this but a third party provider for ui components might develop something like that and that would be excellent same thing with action sheet and drop down and combo box these are all really nice to have and there are plenty of third-party ui component producers that create things like this telerik is one of them they create components for ios and android sync fusion is another one there's a couple of other ones and they all have ios and android libraries those libraries can actually be used in native script so if you import those libraries into native script applications you can actually use those in your native script applications so in a way, there are already libraries out there for iOS and Android that do this kind of thing. Nobody has made a wrapper yet, a JavaScript wrapper around those for native script. So that would be nice to have. Thanks, Euvoria, for that. Wasim says, adding physics to scrolls and custom transitions. So I'm not sure what you mean by physics to scrolls because scrolls already have physics in iOS. That's the default behavior. When you scroll, it bounces around the screen. Now in Android, there are settings that you can set to make uh, the scroll bounce a little bit, but by default, it doesn't bounce. When you reach the top of the scroll or the bottom of the scroll, it stops. That's the default behavior in native Android. There is a way to change that, and of course you can through native APIs in native script. And custom transitions. You can actually create any kind of animation in native script using native APIs or JavaScript APIs. And I have a ton of examples on how to do animations on this channel. So check those out. Transitions, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. I think you mean from page to page. And there are ways to do custom transitions in native script as well. Check out the documentation for that. And Emmanuel says, please, please add a way to test and run iOS apps from Windows. I think this feature was there before, but I don't know I got removed, why I got removed. Uh, so uh, you, you never were able to run iOS apps on Windows. Building and running iOS apps requires a Mac system. So uh, before there was something called Sidekick, where you would build in the cloud on a Mac in a cloud and uh, be able to download that build project, but you were never able to run it on a Windows machine. Now, you can still use the preview application with the Playground app and uh, be able to have an iOS physical device and build your application on a Windows machine, use the preview command, and then preview it on an iOS device. You can still do that if you don't have a Mac but you won't be able to actually run and build on a Windows machine, at least not yet. Now, along with these requests, I have a couple of my own, and one of these is already a repetition of what you guys said. Easy way to create shadows is on my list. Shadows, shadows, shadows. CSS is an awesome way to style your components in native script. It supports a lot of features, but some features would be really nice, like box shadow. I would love to see box shadow implemented in native script. That would be awesome. And uh, if there was a way to easily apply shadows, like putting some kind of attribute as well on a component in native script, that would be great as well. Now there is a way to abstract the shadow creation 
and just be able to add an attribute to your components. And I actually have a couple of videos on that as well. Doing that in Native Script View, check out the channel, find that video there. Just look at my whole Shadows playlist and you'll find a bunch of really cool stuff. But it's not built into Native Script. You still have to write the code to generate the shadows. My other wish list items is built in shared transitions. So I do have a video here on how to create shared transitions and shared transitions, if you don't know, are those where you're going from a master page to a details page and an image on a master page is shared with the image on a details page and it kind of animates from one to the other, yet you went from one page to another. So there is a way to do that, to build that yourself but there is no out of the box way to do that. And that would be really awesome to have. I would love to see that as a feature. Again, check out my video on how to do that, how to build it yourself that is on this channel as well. Everybody, thank you so much for submitting your answers. And if you didn't know about that feature on my channel, it's under the community tab. I do interact there sometimes as well through posts or questions like this. Everybody, I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Wait a minute, what's in the box? I forgot to tell you what's in the box. All right, let's take a look. I got this huge box of native script swag. So I got shirts, I got socks, I got stress balls. They're more like stress cubes. And I got quite a few of these. I also have a bunch of stickers. Stickers, stickers, lots of stickers in there. So if you folks live in the United States, and I'm sorry for all those that don't live in the United States, but I got something for you too. If you live in the United States, leave a comment down below. I'm gonna pick one comment every time I make a video now, and I'm gonna send you a gift bag. I'm gonna send you a shirt, I'm gonna send you socks, a stress ball, and a bunch of stickers. Now, if you don't live in the United States, I'm still gonna send you a bunch of stickers. I just gotta pick your comment. So comment down below, make it good, and uh, appreciate you all. Thanks a lot. I'll see you all in the next video.